Um, let's go ahead and look at this. Go to Tools. There's a 2D Creator thing now um, that is pretty buggy, but it's kind of neat to mess around with, and I want to see what you guys can do with it. Uh, one of the easiest things to do, walk right up to it. Go ahead and, and bring up this menu and click Objects. And tinker around with these here. I'm going to go to Games. Um, to drag out a game, you'll just take it out of here and drag it. And now I've, I've dragged this solitaire game out. Um, and can do the solitaire. So that's that's what that looks like, the 2D space. Um, so in a nutshell, that is it. One thing I did want to show you, though, is is re-go over, I guess, this uh, saving your space. So once I have this and I want to save it, that you know this is in the... Um, go ahead and save it here real fast. And depending on the size of your space, the models you have in there and such will depend on how long this takes to um, save. But once it's saved, remember we can load it from our local disk by going to local directory. Um, and then we have to click this arrow and it'll show our spaces. This is the one I just saved and it's island C3D is, is what will load up. Um, now where is that in your directory structure? We'll go ahead and we'll go over and we'll look at it. Okay, it is under your saved spaces. So you'll see your saved spaces directory. And if you click that, there are all my spaces. Now, how would I share this? Right now, ideally, this isn't ideal, but how I would basically share one of these, um, say if we, I wanted to get it out there on a web page, and this is how I would recommend sending it to Cobalt Worlds, would be that I would take this, I would... I would uh, zip up that directory because everything we need is in our directory. This is the saved space. For example, if I click this, we'll see all the, the cache textures in the main island file, this island C3D. But I would zip up that directory. I would um, then either email it to me, and that's at rich.lin.white at gmail.com, or um, go ahead and set it out on the web and submit it to Cobalt Worlds. And Cobalt Worlds, let's go ahead and go there. Looks like this. Go ahead and... It looks like this. Um, this will have worlds that I've shared. Now some of these worlds here with this latest version, I'm going to have to update these. Um, but you see the URL to the actual Cobalt Worlds for loading it in world. Um, for sharing your world, you go to share. The title, um, the author, who you are. The URL, where you stuck it out on the web, or if you emailed it to me. Um, a little description. Um, and then a little snapshot if you have one. And all these aren't all. And then submit it. That'll come out to me, and then I'll put it, I'll put it up in the Cobalt Worlds directory. So let me know... Um, how you're using this um, if you have questions and we will uh, try to get those solved for you.